Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. All right. Uh, I was told, oh, you're you're being too complex, and I'm trying to be very, very simple, I thought. But that's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you got to slow down. And uh, I was told, hey, you're, you're being too complex. I, I just wanted to see how to add and remove a waypoint. You're talking about VORs and NDBs and uh, all kinds of stuff. Can you just show me simply how to add and remove a waypoint? Yeah. Pick a start and an uh, end position. So you need to pick some place you're taking off from and pick some place you're going to go. All right. Now, at the moment, it's hit or miss whether you can add a custom waypoint. Like, for example, I just want to click out here and add a point. Yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you might want to try it and see if it works for you. Um, I put in bug reports. It should allow you to click any place on the map and add a, add a point. So right-clicking or left-clicking, I'm not getting a thing. So right at the moment, you need to pick any other point that you can see on the map. Okay? And zoom into it. Click on it and set it as... And set add. Okay? Add. Any point. Click it. Add. There. Now you're adding waypoints. That is how you add waypoints. Do, 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 do. Yeah, again, it's not working on the customs. Uh, just creating a custom one. Now, uh, you want to remove them. Same thing. Click on one. Now that you've set it, click remove. 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 Yep. It's as simple as that. Adding and removing waypoints. And I didn't go off on tangents about BORs and NDBs and anything else. This so far hasn't in, uh, included getting waypoints or finding waypoints using Sky Vector or adding and removing waypoints in your GPS. But if you want to stick around, I'll be more than happy to load this up. And Okay, so right now we've added a whole bunch of waypoints. Now if you want to see those, uh, right now as soon as you click fly, that's going to load up in, in the autopilot or the GPS and become the flight plan of, you know, when you hit fly. So if you're just at adding and removing waypoints and that's as far as you are, this might be a little much for you. Okay, so now we're loaded up and in the cockpit. And whatever you've uh, set up out there in the flight plan, if you use the range button, you can zoom out and you can now see that flight plan. You can use these uh, range, uh, the, the pan map option. See these arrows? Let me do control two. So I was using the, the range button here to zoom in and out to see the flight plan that we've set up on the main menu. And we can only zoom out so far. But if you need to move the map, let me zoom back into the, the range button. If you put your pardon, if you put your mouse just on the outside of the range button, it will turn into an arrow and say pan map. Left click. Let me zoom out. Um, um forgive me. Before you do that, you need to toggle the map. Press the center of the button. Push the button in. Okay, now we get a cursor over the airport. And you can now put your mouse just at the outside of the range button and get your pan map option. Now, if you left click the mouse inside the screen, will start panning the map in the direction that you're pressing. And 
and that's how you can see that it's loaded up and it's ready to go. When you're in the air and you're all set and comfortable, straight and level flight, you know, practicing all your basics, and you're ready to engage it. Do, 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 do. The autopilot, there's always an autopilot somewhere, usually. And it's right here on this particular plane. Engage the autopilot. You can probably set up a keyboard command to engage and disengage the autopilot. You may also need to turn on the navigation button once you've engaged your autopilot. And I know that's beyond adding and removing waypoints from the main menu, but it still ties in as to now seeing your waypoints. And what if you have to add and remove one in here? You know, you've just now noticed a mistake. Like, for example, you, you know, we shouldn't actually be flying above these mountains. You know, we, we, it's too high. We don't have enough oxygen or something. Whatever reason, you are now, you now need to edit a waypoint, add and remove a waypoint. That's done using the flight plan button in here. So we set up our flight plan on the main menu. Here's our flight plan button in here. Okay, let's look at it. There are all those points that we added in by clicking and choosing add. So there was our start point, there was our end point, and these are the ones that I ended up left with after adding and removing. Okay. Now let's say you need to get rid of uh, this, this whatever, anyone. I don't like this one just because of the just because the letters. F R N K E. Frankie, Frankie. I just don't like it. We need to get rid of it. So we need to get in here right now. You can, you can't click. It's not a GPS that allows you to click inside of it. So we need to put ourselves in there, and it's the same kind of way when we press this range button. Press this button, toggle selection cursor, and that puts us inside of that window. Now this is two buttons stacked on top of each other. The big button in the back lets us move around inside the window. Scroll it back and forth. And now let's find Frankie. Okay. Now we have some other buttons here. One of them is clear. So this is the same kind of idea out on the main menu. We, we're clicking on the uh, map point on the main menu and we get the remove button. In here, you have to open the flight plan, go into the window, highlight it, and then there's the remove. Clear, cancel, remove. So front key just went away. Now they told us we've made a mistake and we need to put Frinky back or add another point. So on, on the main menu or, you know, on the VFR map, at the moment there's no way to click out here like we do with the main menu and get an option to add or remove. So we have to use this again, our GPS again. So wherever you want to put it it will appear above wherever you're at so our cursor right now is on Chloe K H L O E 
So whatever entry we make, it's going to appear above K-H-L-O-E and under K-F-C-S. So I need to basically do the equivalent of, uh, again, the main map. We click and then we add. So in here, we use the small uh, button, the one that sits up top. And now we can add JTOL, or we can put Fernkey back, it doesn't really matter, but JTOL you can see on the right hand of the screen right there. Okay, so the little button adds options, and the big button moves us around. You already learned that the big button moves us around, it does the same thing here. Scroll left or right. Okay, so just over one. And then use the little button again to change what's in there and look for a big button move it over one little button let's find T big button let's move over one find O and L J-A-T-O-L. All right. We have to enter this now. There's an enter button right there. So now it put JTOL over K-H-L-O-E and under K-F-C-S. So adding and removing waypoints from the main menu. Adding and removing waypoints by using your GPS. The process is very similar with what other, whatever J, uh, GPS, did I say JPS? Whatever GPS you're using, the process is going to be the same for the most part. You're going to be using, looking for buttons like this to bring up your flight plan, clearing and entering, and your buttons or knobs to change what you want in here and there's a million other functions oh that's exaggerating there's lots and lots and lots of other things that you can do but you said stop going off on tangents and doing all kinds of stuff just keep it simple to the waypoints okay well then I, th I think that's it